crazy to me that there are people who just don't have social anxiety. Like there are people who can just talk to other human beings and whatever's in their brain just flows right out of their mouth. Instead of going through seven different filters that convince them that whatever they're gonna say is either offensive or stupid or not funny and they'd be better off saying nothing at all. Welcome to another episode of Doing Things That Can Be Anxiety. Today I am really trying to challenge my social anxiety. If you've seen episode one of this series or if you've just been following along on Instagram and TikTok, then you know that this all started out with me just going to a coffee shop, getting on a train, just getting out of the house and being more comfortable in the world again. So I feel like the next step after being more comfortable now interacting with the world is to become more comfortable interacting with actual human beings. So I'm going to a perfume making class and I signed up alone. I don't know anybody else going. And best case scenario, it's a small class, like no more than eight people. And ideally everyone else is by themselves too. Because my social anxiety is a little quieter when everyone's on the same playing field, like nobody knows anyone. And when some people know each other, there, there's kind of that group dynamic then I feel like the odd one out and that's when I really lock up and my brain just kind of goes blank that kind of spirals into me being upset with myself for not being able to make conversation so hopefully that's not what happens I do know the owner of the shop where the class is taking place so that makes me feel a little more comfortable I've been to the shop before so any anxiety about not knowing my surroundings or my environment that's kind of not a factor but I'm definitely still a little nervous but overall just trying to think positively envision it going well because envisioning things is supposed to be like a good psychological thing or something and you know at the very least it's a good reason for me to get up and get dressed and look kind of cute and so that's what we're gonna do So I was gonna say let's pick out an outfit together because I was between wearing this sweater and this sweater but I'm pretty sure this sweater just makes me look like a Target employee so we're definitely doing the other one much better. And I think I'm gonna do my combat boots. Can't find my combat boots. How does one lose a whole shoe? When was the last time I wore them? I do not know. They're not where they should be, which is right there. In the closet? No. This is the other place it would be. Also not there. Have you seen my combat boots? Is this one of them? Yes. Now where is the other? Yes, Under yes. the bed. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Wondrous. Thank you. Somehow made their way under the bed. Now do we add a red lip? Maybe we just do a pink lip. I don't really want to do all the work that goes into a red lip. Ah. She's okay. Little dog hair on her. It was really hard to do in the viewfinder. This is like kind of a brownish pink, but when I put the lip gloss on top, it looks more pinky. You just kind of put this on. It's plumping so it feels tingly. And then just... Does that look good? It doesn't really match the pink in the sweater, but I don't have a lipstick this bright because I would never wear it. Hopefully it just goes, you know? It doesn't need to match, it just needs to go. I feel like that's something I learned from what not to wear. Anyone watch that in like 2008? I feel like I don't really have a good coat to wear with this. We're just gonna see how this camel one looks. I feel like it doesn't really go with the colors, but I don't have another option unless I'm gonna wear my big puffy coat. Maybe, maybe this won't work. The coloring looks better, but I don't know if it's gonna be warm enough. Also doesn't button, so like if I get cold, just kinda out of luck, there's gonna be a lot of cross breeze in there. Does it kinda look like a doctor's coat? Be honest. I think we have to go with brown. I still have a little bit of time before I need to go, so I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store real quick, get like an Olipop, or get a little can of wine. I don't know. They said it was BYOB, and I don't necessarily want to drink alcohol if other people aren't, but also like it's Saturday and I could use a glass of wine, so I don't know. The grocery store was very crowded, so I have no B-roll for you. I also need to remember to put deodorant on before we go because I already kind of have the anxious sweats. I got two Olipops, root beer and strawberry vanilla. I was hoping they'd have vintage cola because that's my favorite, but root beer is a close second. And then I just got this one because I thought it'd be good for Valentine's Day, so I might take this one with me. This is pink. Also, they were two for four, so they were on sale. Usually they're $3 each. I think they're kind of expensive, so I needed to take advantage of the deal. And then I also got a can of wine because if people are drinking alcohol, then I do kind of want to treat myself to a glass of wine. And I got bananas because I thought they'd be nice to share with everyone. I'm just kidding, we just need bananas. It's just about time to go. I'm gonna put deodorant on, like I mentioned before I forget, so that even if I anxious sweat, I still smell okay. So I guess there'll be plenty of perfume, so I can mask it too. But I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna head out. Later than I thought it was, so I am about to run the Texas bus. Hello. What's up? Case buyers. 
up here. Let's oh, do okay. a spray. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it's very sweet. sweet. Yeah. I don't know what the word is. Um, floral is probably what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like some dish to me though. And it doesn't smell like Mandarin to me. It smells like, like a food. It smells <laughs> like tortillas. I can, I can see it. The corn <laughs> candy. It doesn't smell like, like it to me, but I can see why you think that. I don't know what it smells like to me. That's what probably sex bit on that. Oh, it smells like tacos to me. I don't know what's going on. I do not yeah. smell tacos. This could smell like my grandma's house, or it could be yeah. like fresh. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I think I got my other item the first time. I did oh, I like that. Very cute now. And now we are going to do. Very different. No, what did you well, Those are so like different. <laughs> so this oh, smells more like more formal to me, like yeah. going out to like a nice dinner. Okay. It's more it's really like fun nice. day yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> So that's unhelpful because now I just want some bone. I told myself that I would not pick at my skin this week so that it would look good for the workshop this weekend. And so, of course, I picked at it more because I was literally anxious about not picking it, that that anxiety drove me to pick at it. That's not backwards at all. Like, this doesn't need to be here. We're gonna do our best to cover them up. The workshop the other week went great. It was a really small class and everyone was alone and very nice. And the woman who ran the workshop, her name was Tanya, lovely woman. And I ended up with this perfume. Look at how cute it is. I had such a lovely time that I asked Tanya if she would want to do some sort of collaboration together. Like I would host a meetup and she would teach us how to make perfume at it. Because I've been trying to think of something that I could do with some of you guys that live here in Chicago. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, it's dripping. Oh, my leg does not need makeup. I've been putting off doing a meetup for like a good year or so, mostly because I just thought nobody would come. But then I asked on my Instagram story if any of you guys would want to do something together and a lot of you said yes. So I was like, okay, well maybe somebody will show up. I just didn't know what to do. Like I wanted to have an activity. I didn't want us just standing around staring at each other. So after the perfume workshop, I was like, this is perfect. It'll give us something to do. It gives you something to talk about because you're like, hey, can you smell my scent? Is this scent good? No? Okay, thank you. It's not such a hard activity that that's all you're focused on the whole time. Like you can talk while doing it. And so that is the origin story of my first meetup event and it is happening tonight. There's gonna be 15 of us there. Well, 16 plus me. 17 plus David. 18 plus Tanya. 19 plus the owner of the shop. But I think that's a really good number. Not too many people that it feels like I'm giving a presentation or something, but enough people that I don't feel like a loser. So I'm excited. You guys sold it out within a day, which was great. I was worried that I would have to beg people to come. Honestly, a little nervous to meet some of you guys. Mostly excited, but also nervous. I think just because I want y'all to have fun. And that goes for anything I host, even if it's just a party with my friends. Like I just get very anxious and worried that people aren't having a good time. But I also kind of worry that I won't live up to your expectation. I don't want to be that content creator that you meet in person and you're like, oh, she's actually really awkward and not funny in real life. Oh, why did I put my blush on? I didn't even put my bronzer on yet. This is why I can't do makeup and talk. I mean, I think I portray myself pretty accurately on my social media. But I also know that I come across differently in different situations. Like the purest form of me is when I'm alone. Completely alone with no camera rolling, but the next best thing is alone with a camera rolling. Obviously I'm always very comfortable when I'm just sitting at home filming my content, but then me in a social situation where I'm nervous and I want people to like me it can come off very differently. But I feel like I usually come off differently when I'm very intimidated by the other people in the room. And I'm pretty sure all of you guys are gonna be great, so there's no reason for me to feel scared or intimidated. So it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, here is the outfit. 
Does it look like I'm gonna make perfume? I had to make sure to wear a sweater that wasn't gonna show my pit stains. Multicolor really helps with that. I actually tell you where everything is from. I very rarely actually say where I get my stuff in my fit check. The shoes I bought secondhand on Depop, but they're originally free people. Pants and the sweater were gifted to me from Cezanne. And then my little jewels are from Ana Luisa. And my glasses are from Salt. I think it's just called Salt. Salt glasses? Salt optics. It just says salt. I think this looks good, right? I look springy, I look sophisticated. A little worried about the pants being too tight. Don't really give me much of a butt. Not that you guys are coming to this for my butt. I had a little cup of coffee because I was feeling really tired. I think that's just my body's way of saying, don't go to this thing that's giving you anxiety. Sleep instead. And I was like, well, I can't not go because if I don't go, that defeats the whole purpose of the event. Just had a little bit of coffee. Probably gonna get jittery in about 15 minutes. What can I grab? Can you grab that bag in the tripod? Let's go. What do you think the odds are all these glasses make it through the night? I think we will have one casualty. Yeah. What if they all break? That would be a bad omen. I should never do one of these again. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. fun. Everyone will have fun. Yeah. I will have fun. Good, good, good. Can we help uh, you with anything? Yes, yeah, so okay. I think David's in the back. I didn't know what door it was, so I was like, I'll just go around to the front. <laughs> uh, we figured it'd be easiest to unload back there. Morgan, probably know that. Um, this is Tanya. She owns a workshop of Hot and Carry. She's going to talk us through a bunch of stuff and then we'll just hang out and smell things and sip things and get to know each other. So, all right, I'll hand it over to Tanya. Tanya, here's the Wow, that may be one of the best matcha lattes I've made to date. Okay, so that was cool. The thing we just watched, that thing I just did, it was very cool. It's like kind of the only way I can figure out how to sum it up. Um, it's a few weeks later. I just finished editing that video that you just consumed with your eyeballs. And I realized that I didn't have an ending. I was just so excited after the event ended that I just didn't film a conclusion. That's okay though, because I've now had some time to digest it all, and watch it all back. And yeah, like I said, just very cool. I know that's probably not the most like eloquent or clever description, but that's just all I can think of. Like, it's just crazy that this whole thing started with me just going to a coffee shop. Like, this whole perfume event happened because of me wanting to do more things that give me anxiety. Each time I've done something that's made me anxious, my confidence has grown a little bit more. And that doesn't mean it's linear. Not every anxious girl adventure has been rainbows and butterflies. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you've seen some of the adventures where I've struggled a little bit more. But to just think, like, four months ago, I was in a stage of barely wanting to leave my house to now four months later i just organized and hosted an event for a bunch of strangers well not strangers because you guys kind of know me but we've never met you know that is just very cool 13 year old me would be really proud 
myself right now. I try to make that like my measure of success, like with 13 year old me be proud of me. If yes, then that's a good thing. I did a good thing. And I think she'd be really stoked that I did this. Because 13 year old me would spend Saturday nights alone in her house watching YouTube videos because nobody wanted to hang out with her. And I would watch the OG YouTubers like Grace Helbig and Tyler Oakley and like Bethany Moda. They provided me comfort and laughs and made me feel like even though I felt a little bit different, I was a little bit different, that that didn't mean I couldn't be successful and that I wasn't deserving of friendships or relationships or happiness. And from that moment, I wanted to provide that same feeling to other people. I just wanted to make people happy, make them feel like they have a friend, and just that they are capable of doing the things that scare them or that they feel like they've been told they can't do in life. And talking to you guys at this perfume event and hearing that so many of you signed up for it because you watch my videos about me taking on my anxiety and trying to do more things by myself, hearing that you would want to watch a 45 minute YouTube video of mine because it's just comforting to have on in the background as you're going about life. Like that was the most real tangible evidence I've ever had that what I do actually impacts people. I guess people comment on social media posts and tell you that you're making an impact on them or that you've inspired them, but nothing is the same as looking another girl in the eye and hearing her say, I did this because of you. I know I cry a lot, but I didn't think that this would make me cry. Like, it was a small event, it was 15 people, but it was... Sorry. It was a small event, but it was a big deal. I'm doing what I always wanted to do. I got- I hate my crying face. Think about something bland. White toast. Nobody's ever cried about white toast. I just, I'm doing what I always wanted to do. And I don't mean making videos, I mean forming human connection. Impacting the way that people go about their life for the better. And I want to do more. I want to host more of these events. I want to keep doing the things that scare me. It just feels really good. So if you were at that perfume event, thank you so much for coming. You were the kindest group of people. You're exactly the type of people that I would want to be friends with, that I want to be part of my little internet community. And if you watch this video, thank you so much to you. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok or anywhere, if you signed up for a newsletter, if you ever read my blog back when that was a thing, just like Thank you so much for being here and making it possible for me to do what 13 year old me has always wanted to do. So, okay, sorry to get so sentimental. I just feel really happy and grateful right now. So thank you again. That's like the 15th thank you in the past 25 seconds, but thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you, bye.